Coming to the variable number of tandem repeat polymorphism or VNTR as we call them. VNTRs are short identical segments of DNA which are aligned head to tail in a repeating fashion and are highly variable between individuals. In any particular chromosome, the repeat number may vary from 1 to 30 repeats. Since these repeat regions are usually bounded by specific restriction enzymes, it is possible to cut out the segment of the chromosome containing this VNTR, run the total DNA on a gel and identify the VNTRs by hybridization with a probe specific for the DNA sequence of that repeat. In a homogeneous chromatid or identical sister chromatid, the repetitive sequence region of a chromatid may not line up exactly with its corresponding region due to significant sequence homology. As a result, during meiosis, different number of repeat units may be generated from unequal crossovers. It is the molecular basis of DNA fingerprinting which has many practical applications. Shows VNTRs, short identical segments of DNA which are aligned head to tail in a repeating fashion. In VNTRs, two pairs of sister chromatids line up during meiosis. A repetitive region of one chromatid, the third one which is seen in figure 7, does not line up exactly with its corresponding region in other chromatids. The DNA strands breaks on non-sister chromatids along line A will result in unequal crossover, thus producing different number of repeat units in these chromatids, which is shown in figure 7. The strand then breaks on sister chromatids along line B and also produce different repeats. In this case, it is called sister chromatid exchange. Figure 7 shows the variable number of tandem repeat polymorphism. Coming to the northern blotting technique, which is a method for detecting RNA fragments among a mixture of RNA. The technique is called northern simply because it is similar to southern not because it was invented by a person named northern. The procedure of northern blotting is similar to southern blotting. The only difference being that RNA is transferred onto the membrane from gel instead of DNA. In the southern blotting technique, DNA fragments are denatured with alkaline solution. In the northern blotting, RNA fragments are treated with formaldehyde to ensure linear conformation. Like southern blotting, here the probe permits the RNA molecule of interest to be detected from among the many different RNA molecules on the membrane. Coming to the third blotting technique which is known as the western blotting method is used to detect a particular protein in a mixture. The procedure of western blot is also similar to southern blotting. The only difference is the probe used here is not DNA or RNA but antibodies. The technique therefore is also called immunoblotting. 